Hi viewers, welcome to Tea Time on First TV Africa. How are you doing? Um, please guys, we need to go back as in go hard on fighting COVID-19. Wear your face mask all the time. I know you, cannot, you might not be in the face to do a lot of other things, but if you can just get the face mask thing sorted, this thing is spreading like wildfire. I'm hearing everybody catching it. So please guys, stay safe out there. And well, thank you as well for tuning in to the baddest entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody else. While we serve, while we stay party, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown and analysis pertaining lifestyle, your favorite celebrities and all of that. If it's hot, then we will talk about it. And when I say we, I mean Ifele Roshike and Enyola Baby. Hey. Hey. Good morning. Hey guys, Hello. I feel like, okay, let me just tell the audience because they're like, what's wrong with people's energy? They've been playing on some Shadi Adu, <laughs> some, music. some mm -hmm. old school jam, which is not bad, though, but the mood has kind of made you in your feelings sure. a bit or whatever. Thinking about your love life. You know, mm -hmm. like, ah, what is? what am I doing with myself? Valentine's Day is coming. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so that's a cost to mind, too. <laughs> yes, so I'm like, ah, this is the time where I start feeling FOMO now. Mm. Good. Mm. All of a sudden, Bay just got me uh, a mm -hmm, starting cars, starting trips to Dubai or whatever. Stop it's well. mine, it's okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, how have you guys been? How was yesterday? Oh, Lord, I'm exhausted. Yesterday's traffic was out of this world. Yeah. I spent three hours on the on the road. Something that would just take me one hour, 20 minutes. You'll have gone to Ghana and come it takes back. takes you one hour, 20 minutes to get home? Three yeah. hours. No, it takes you an hour, 20 minutes yes. to get home normally. Yeah, without right. traffic. That's far. That's very far. It took huh? me three far. hours. Like, God. Three hours why not is a just long stay? time. Oh, sorry. Mm. Say it. I was going to ask why not just stay on the mainland. Why? The mainland is worse. Mm -hmm. It's like an hour, 20 minutes. Or no. Hours, don't ah. say that at all. Depending mm. on what. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Bagada levels to this thing. Because, no. Even Bagada, Bagada can be really bad. Mm -hmm. um, because you can do three four hours mm. from when i used to live on the mainland okay if i leave work at four <laughs> you know you leave I'll in get home. you leave in ogun states <laughs> I'll don't, get home don't say you leave on the mainland well like it's not the same I've it's been, like me saying my family house is on the mainland it's now it's not no uh, <laughs> i'm uh, sure my parents, i keep True. telling my parents you don't stay in lagos and you say we're in this same lagos i said so no dad we're not in lagos <laughs> together but i think the island really does that <laughs> as well because the island is a lot i think the island is a lot more interconnected than the mainland mm -hmm. so you don't really have to travel that far like you can stick to v from let's say ikoi to vgc mm -hmm. for five years like you wouldn't actually need to get out of that space for turn up, for banking, for shopping, for all of that. Mm. With it's with dead. the mainland, it's not like that. You can live in Bagada, but have to travel to Korodu for something, mm -hmm. or have to you go really to far. To yeah, go, 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 come to VI to turn up and all of that. But uh, we, are, we are where we live. I have Sha. friends that you know they come. You invite them for turn up, and then I say, "Will we crash?" Inviting friends, inviting friends from the mainland like they travel. means that you have to sort out their sleeping, mm -hmm. their sleeping kini mm -hmm. because they can't just like. And you have to leave go very early home. the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Uh, it's deep. Oh, deep. Um, anyway, Iyabo Ojo says leaving an abusive relationship doesn't require rocket science. Addressing women who came to her DM to ask for advice about their abusive relationships and marriages, that was her response. The movie star said that she was not in position, in the position to advise anyone on how to leave a bad marriage or an abusive relationship, as the person involved has to take the decision when they are fed up. True. Thoughts? Mm hmm Okay, go on, go on, okay. go on, go on. I, I totally agree with her. Like, if you want to leave an abusive marriage, something you should make up your mind by yourself, not someone telling you that leave this thing. Because at the end of the day, you can start, you can blame the person, like, you're the one that told me to do this thing. And the other. So it has to be your own personal decision. You're making up your mind that you're fed, of this, fed up of this situation. You want something better for yourself, that you, you're, like, you're the queen you should, you should mm -hmm. see yourself to be. Because I don't think any woman should actually subject herself to any form of abuse, either emotionally, or physically so i just think it's or verbally uh, thank you so i just feel it's like um you should uh, like have a mental note like okay i don't this is not what i deserve mm. i deserve better mm. so not someone advising you should be your own True. decision mm, i mean i like the aspect mm -hmm. of saying it is it is her decision mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that you cannot tell somebody about somebody it. um mm -hmm. i would need that i think m from my personal experience and even the way i'm wired the times I don't have as much support is when I find myself 
in situations that I'm not supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. So if my friends are not around me or my family is not around me, mm -hmm. I start to kind of tolerate more abuse from the people that I'm around because mm -hmm. I don't have any other people to fall around. But then when my friends are around or my loved ones are around and they see who I'm interacting with and they pick up on something, mm -hmm. it's those things of saying, bro, why is he talking to you like that? Or like, why is this person doing this? Or like, if I don't like this guy or whatever, mm -hmm. those type of feedbacks to me gives me a lot more ginger agreed to decide for myself mm -hmm. but then you know that that um that uh, pouring of positivity okay. and strength is important so i think that was the only thing i didn't really like about her really really long okay. video it was like it was a bit too dismissive this thing of mind your business does not apply in every mm -hmm. si in every single situation sometimes you have to really push mm -hmm. and give them the reason to want to believe in themselves again mm -hmm. that they are capable of making the decision okay. to leave yes it is still your decision but you have that I, I even think you have that responsibility to do that to the people that you love like if you see them doing set, certain things you're like babe I, like i know you love this guy or i know you love this girl because sometimes not even just guys True. like oh i know you love this girl or this office or whatever i've mm -hmm. not seen people where their office is draining this they are so maybe they have somebody or a boss was really mean or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like you have to say something. So, I mean, I get what she was trying to say because she was talking with plenty, plenty mouths mm -hmm. that last, last is you that will end up deciding what you want to do yeah. for yourself. But let, let, there, let there be a balance that like you're not actually removing yourself mm -hmm. from the responsibility of having a part to play. Okay. Well, well sorry, okay. let me just add it. Do you know, um, fine, she was kind of dismissive with her comment, but I kind of got where she's coming from. Have you ever advised someone that this one is bad for you, don't do it, and you still find the person doing it at the yes, end of the day? Yes. So I think that's where she's coming from. Like, okay, I can advise you to do this thing. You act as if, okay, I've listened to it. Yeah, but that advice it. that you gave the mm -hmm. girl, did it cost you anything? It's not like as if you, know, you paid the girl to, uh, you paid the person that you were advising, mm -hmm. so then you've lost something. All you've lost is like a few conversations, and it's not a big deal. Like, even if I words tell... Words, <laughs> Words, I swear. Like, See? you've told you've told the person, the person not do anything about mm -hmm. it, and then so, and then what happened? What, what did it take from you to do that? Just, but then there is more of a disadvantage if you don't say anything at all. It just gets exhausting when you keep advising this person. That's why, like I said earlier, she has to like, decide that she wants to change. Mm. If you, you can keep advising this person, mm. she'll come back to you when the beta, you advise her again. So it can get quite exhausting. I agree. Mm. I agree that it can get quite exhausting. Okay. But I feel like you two, you can also set a, a boundary to that. Like when it's getting too much or maybe she's bringing her toxic into your space or whatever, okay. then you can be like, okay, no. It's, it's too much and I sometimes I even know me I know my friends a lot I can tell when it's fake tears that like, this person's gonna go back she's gonna go back yeah. but when there's an eminent threat to this person's life okay. it's a different conversation and I think you should be able to say like babe you can leave you can come to my house you mm -hmm. can offer support that that person can have the strength to then make that kind of decision sorry Finn. no I think you guys have said most of the stuff but um as far as I'm concerned I feel I watched the video not mm -hmm. the whole thing like you said it's extremely long. long so I kept moving forward I kept moving so I went to the parts where she went live with her friend Tosin, right? And I think Tosin said what I had in mind, right? A lot of people actually know exactly what they want, mm -hmm. but all they're seeking is validation. Mm -hmm. They just want somebody else to just tell them, somebody else to prompt them, somebody else mm -hmm. to push them. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So sometimes it's not about. It's not a bad I, I don't, thing, I don't is care it? about mm -hmm. your advice. It's just that you just need. And most where where I have a problem with it is when you start looking at a celebrity to be the mm -hmm. one to give you validation. Mm -hmm. Now she said, um, out of eighty to hundred. Um, DM she gets at least 60 is um, from people that relate and because she, that's, she, so she milked that no offense but and she, no, apart from the fact that she milked it she's also starting a show about being a single mom and being successful something uh, like she, that she's so people are that, jumping yeah. off the back so I don't know why you put yourself in a position where you can help people and then you come back and you and complain say exactly now that's the problem I have with a lot of celebrities the fact that people are coming don't even bask in it why can't you just be like oh just advise them and move on we if you can't advise them, keep quiet. He put his mouth quiet. into this conversation and said the exact same thing that you're saying. That let's not pretend oh, yeah. like these girls in your DMs are not, are not the reason why you're eating mm -hmm. from this place. The fact that you they, they open your, your timeline, because that's how um, engagement works. When we're talking about the figures, I'm just going to look into it.
<laughs> they will actually send how many people watch my story? Mm -hmm. 1,000 something people. That's how they're able to secure a sponsored mm -hmm. post on mm -hmm. their story. Mm -hmm. So don't act like as if no, we are not the ones, and these girls it's, it's really that you are bashing, you're not the ones fueling your And your then account. it's also really sad that um, you're in a position to help people. Now, if you know that you can't afford it, if you know that people are like that in your DMs, what stops you from starting an NGO to support mm. women like that? Mm. Do you understand? True, Bring true, people together. Okay, you can't be the counselor, right? Can you start an NGO? Employ people to do mm. that work. Do you understand? There are a lot of people that need to hear that. So a woman that you turn down or you say, it's none of my business, can you stop sending me messages? Uh -uh. Then goes back to her husband and beats her to death. How would you feel about it? It's a she bit cold. And so, then yeah. even the part where she said, so "Like, like I'm, not a, I'm not the president of Single Women Association. Yeah. No, you can yeah. do whatever. But you've milked your whole entire yeah. branding <laughs> around that. Attracted the yeah. lot, added the numbers, milking your... And then you're still numbers. milking it because you're milking this women yes. right now. Because when you had your issues... You know, I remember so, this lady we talked about on the show. She was crying, yeah. dramatic tears, a whole full-on performance. He told all of us about how there's five hundred naira in her account, about yeah. how much was in her account okay. that was left, and the man left her. Oh my god! And there was tears and, and stuff. So while all those periods, when it, it, when it, she was it, going in a neighbor's that, house, or did anybody something. tell you, baby, it's rocket science? Get over it. Like, what are you doing? Sure. She talks about how a lot of people came for, came through to rescue her and all of that. And let's not pretend like as if no, you don't know that. Um, your influence is is important. Like True. David Doe, that does not even milk this thing. Posted somebody saying that him watching their snaps yeah, mm. helped Cured them with depression. depression or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very skewed, and I don't know how your depression is cured yeah. by David Doe's no story. story. <laughs> 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 Makes you laugh. Like I don't understand that, but you know that you have that kind of power. Period. True. So it's either you're going to milk it or not. I was mm -hmm. going to also emphasize on the rocket science thing. I thought that was very disrespectful word to use. Okay. Um, they are weak women mm -hmm. and they are Thank stronger you. women. And okay. if she's that age, with that much experience mm -hmm. and that much and that much exposure, and she does not know that, I'm a bit worried. Mm -hmm. You know that they are weaker women. Mm -hmm. You know it's, it's, it's a normal thing. Even your children, okay. your children will have strengths mm -hmm. and weaknesses. Okay. And that when they get to that strength, when they get to that weakness and um, weakness um, situation, they'll be weak in how they perform True. because it's not their strength. So you don't sit there and act like it's not it is so deal. easy mm -hmm. and that it's as simple as okay. oh when i'm ready i know that mm -hmm. this is abuse and i'm gonna walk out it's not that it's not that easy there's some yeah. people that know and are ready and can't mm -hmm. there's people like that so the whole thing was a bit insensitive to me but man you just got another source of income but your i don't know what what it is now your okay. your Arrogance wouldn't let you be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm sure the. I, I mean, I saw a few things on her comment section. When people are already coming at her a bit. So I'm hoping she reads it, catch, catches on, and you know, um, implementing her next. Post but a friend, a friend was really real. Tosi, mm. well, I don't know her last name, but the Tosi girl that was in that video was, it was like, come on, why are you acting like you don't know? You're mm -hmm. rich, you're successful, you're single. Mm -hmm. Said, and besides, yes, she was even the one that said it. That besides, you're starting a show so that they know about it. That is why okay. they're coming to you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So the friend, that was a Give real them, like, friend. Give them, like, the support yeah. like, and the strength to actually do what well, they do. do you think, do. you know, you mentioned something with Tosi saying about validation, that sometimes you just they, want to be validated about yeah. that. Do you think that that's a bad thing or a good thing? Um, mm -hmm. Depending on in, in what context, yeah, because okay. um, earlier today I spoke on the breakfast show on body shaming and all of that. Mm -hmm. So when you're seeking validation from people and you cannot express yourself or wear the things you like because you're seeking validation from people or you care about what people it's will true. say mm -hmm. about your stretch back, about your pimples, then, mm. <laughs> I don't know, it's not a problem, but then you need to check it. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? But in this case, seeking validation, seeking a second, sometimes there's so many things that bring you down and mm -hmm. love is a beautiful thing it and is. it's a crazy thing at the true. same time. Especially from you people know you this it's not good for me, mm. right? But you love this guy so much. You've been through so much with this person. You cannot leave. You just yes. need somebody else to tell you, look, Charlie, mm. he will be fine. Mm. Go, move on. Yeah. And that might just, those might just be the only words you because need I know to even, leave. Even with like other things that are not necessarily encouragements, like if I think, okay, maybe I'm, I've been making hair. I've been making my hair. Okay. I've never been to a salon in mm -hmm. years. But as I'm making my hair, whatever, that, like, remember the first time I started doing that more seriously? It took one person to say, ah, babe, your hair is really nice. Okay. And then I'm like, oh, it is, right? Like, that validation kind of gave me more confidence that yeah. this thing that I'm doing, mm -hmm. I'm onto something. So I, when you not get that from somebody that you admire, if somebody, if the lady tells you that, 
Actually, I think you you have that strength that you think mm -hmm. you don't have to leave this relationship. Okay. Coming from somebody who's really admirable or whatever, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. So I, I know think she she's has gone through the same exact same things. I think that's why they're actually reaching out to her. I'm well, making this conversation okay. too much. Okay. This is all right. Let's move okay. on. Yes. The okay. inauguration team for President-elect Joe Biden and the VP to be Kamala Harris has released an official inaugural playlist with 46 songs to represent the incoming 46th president. Get it? Ranging from a styly dance golden oldies, do it again, to Caesar's very latest Good Days, which was just released on Christmas Day. And of course, our very own Burner Boy with his song Destiny from African Giants. As you might expect, it is, an, uh, it is in the same electric, inclusive, aspirational spirit as former President Barack Obama's signature playlist, if not quite as outstandishly hip as some of Obama's post-presidency roundups have been, obviously with the help of Malia and Sasha around to pack it in and all that. But yeah, the songs were definitely very progressive, mm -hmm. very forward, very, I don't know, funky. Let me funk ask you guys a, a question. Do you guys mm -hmm. think they came up with the songs? Who? The president and Kamala Harris. No, I'm sure they had a team. It's D Nice and Issa Rae that put the songs together. DJ D Nice, Issa Rae. Why do you think that? It's there, it's there, it's there, right. it's out there. Well, so sure they were in charge of put, making the playlist. I'm okay. sure yeah. Joe Biden doesn't even know who Bonal Boy is. So oh, uh, uh, it's the same thing with Obama them now. You think, Obama, Obama. you think Obama is right? That Obama playlist I was always yelling about. Do you okay. think he's the one that sat there and was listening Actually to all the songs? He said it in his last interview that he was not the one. Of like, course he's not the one. And his daughter, like, of yeah, course. Yeah, but at least his daughter. No way he's going to start. Mm, it's okay. But big shout out to Bonner Boy anyway. I'm not trying to bring the great well, man Steve, down. Wait, what, did say? Say? what did he say? What did he trying to say? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say that. Look, because everybody said, ah, that he has good taste in music. Oh, yeah. when I no, I'm just, have you seen the comment section? No, I'm talking about um, Joe, Joe Biden, Biden right. and Kamala Harris. You know, people are saying, oh, they have good taste in music. They have, mm -hmm. no, I can't believe the person that listens to Kendrick Lamar. And I'm like, no, I'm sure he didn't do that. So I dug further and I realized I was denied. But, but do you don't think he would listen to this? Them True. right now, what? you don't you, know. Yeah, what you listen he to them now? He probably won't. He's probably too busy getting ready for his inauguration. Well, he'll listen to it on the inauguration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, well, yes, now it's be playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think. I think. Bobby, shout out to Bonner Boy. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah a but big deal. you see, it's. I still think they have a right to say well done to those guys because mm -hmm. the yeah. kind of team that um, Biden and. Harris have decided to pick is okay. indirectly the reason why we're giving them the applaud. Mm -hmm. You're giving your first of all, you're picking young people, you're pick, picking young uh, people of color, you're mm -hmm. picking people who are progressive, which re reflects back on their character. Mm -hmm. Let, trust me, Trump would not pick Issa Rae. I know Issa Rae well, she's a girl mm -hmm. from Secure. Mm -hmm. Trump, in his not in this lifetime or the next, would he mm -hmm. ever pick Issa Rae to pick to make his playlist? How about if that makes sense, nice, the DJ. <laughs> He probably won't too. No, I don't think he would. So I that think already... he would pick any black person any. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I think he will pick a Texas born mm -hmm. white washed playlist. So the reason why we're still glad about What's this. What's case kind scenario of... pick a Kanye West? Yes. Yeah. Or Lil Wayne. <laughs> yes. Or Lil People Wayne. All the sellouts. No offense. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what? but <laughs> in my opinion, okay. um, but I never called you when it's sellout. He is, a though. Buster he is. I know we got disappointed. We did get this. So, he's a sellout. It's it might be the drugs. Blame the drug, blame it on the drugs. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, anyway. in 2021, you may release something. I still like, I still something. like that. Like, you may bounce back now, release something. I see. That's why I didn't expect this from. Sorry to yeah, no, sidetrack. No, okay. I didn't expect this from um, Buster Rhymes. You, did you see um, Buster Rhymes' album? It was mad. And no one expected him to release something as nice like, as that, so I'm just putting that there. Alrighty. Was that song mm -hmm. nice to you? Did you listen? Me, I loved it. So. I heard I'm not a Buster Rhymes fan anyway, so I, I okay. wouldn't like it. I just know that about it, but me. I don't. Anyway, I say he, he irks me. Uh, <laughs> like, just imagine that guy in Nigeria with a little less money. He'd be on the juice of the car. I don't say that. Okay. Anyway, my point about this playlist is that it is progressive, mm -hmm. it is inclusive, it is everything that they stand for, and whether or not you like it is a political statement. Mm. Okay. They are welcoming immigrants, which is something that Trump tried to bash heavily in his period. So we can go back the, to America. Basically. Yeah. Ba in, that's the summary. Move.